Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Star Wars Bounty Hunter. And it took a while to get back here because, as we said, there's no checkpoints. No. Well, there's no loading checkpoints. There are checkpoints in the level. As long as you have lives, you come back. But oh, let's uh, go across this dreaded bridge with all those rocket people. Also, bodies don't tend to disappear, so... There's a guy sleeping on the job. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes, this place. We meet again. Yeah, this place, exactly. This wasn't fun last time, and it's not fun now. Nope. I hope we don't die again, because then we'll have to wait a half an hour before we can record again. More or less, yeah. Where did that missile launcher come from? Was it that guy? I don't know. I would missile launch the people coming out of that door. It's that guy. I would missile launch her, him. Missile launcher in his face, no offense. How about blaster? It's not really having an effect. Oh. I heard mm -hmm. someone die! <laughs> yeah, only one of them though. There's like a bunch of them. Well, let's scan and oh. check. Better safe than sorry, right? Oh. Yeah. I thought there's somebody else there. And there's a guy. Well, let's get rid of him. Okay. Get him? We didn't get him yet, and he's looking at us now. Wow. He's still there. <laughs> no one of consequence. You can't kill me. <gasps> oh yeah, you're protected by this. Look, you're protected by this I, little thing. I know, I know. I'm looking. Mm. They can't really see you right now. But I think they know that. <sighs> Are they talking about you? <laughs> Who is this guy? What is this? Jetpack. <laughs> oh boy. Got a bad feeling about this. What? Unlimited Are you jet serious? Pack. Yep. When did you get the unlimited jetpack? Just for a limited time. <gasps> Whoa, that was insane, though. Don't <laughs> congratulate me yet, because I think we have to do it again. Whoa! It's turbo time. Hey, 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 hey. Oh gosh. Come on, Jago, use your jetpack! <gasps> oh my gosh. Do we make it? This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh, this looks a lot better than before. We made it way further than before. We made it past that room! Yay! That was a tough room. Tough crowd. Uh, well, I mean, a <laughs> tough crowd when they have rocket launchers. Yeah. Oh. See, people say being a comedian is hard, but I feel like being a bounty hunter would be harder. Life is easy, but comedy is hard. Yeah. 10,000 for dead? Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Get him! Oh yeah, we got 10,000 credits! Yes, you did. I don't understand why we can't go buy a house or something. Hmm, how many credits do we need? I don't know. No, Zelda, don't! Zelda! Zelda, stop! You want me to go grab her? Yeah, that's our only PS4 cable. It's our last one. I don't know what she's doing. What you doing? Bad kitten. In the basement you go. Oh, she's so warm! Yeah, well, that's because she's on top of that. Zelda, that's my last PS4 cable. I have to get a bunch of those off Amazon. They're really good. But they won't be really good if they have holes in them. 
Maybe mm -hmm. she smells the Amazon smell. No, there's something about it that she likes playing with. I think it's because it's blue. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Maybe because it's colorful and shiny. Is that a switch? Oh no. Wait, they have a Nintendo Switch in this. Oh no. No, I'm... no, no. I'm just I think kidding. This is the... What in the world? I think we just escaped the prison. Maybe. Really? I don't know. I wish they would give you kind of a hint that you're almost done. But you really have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like this game is very hard on Django. Super hard on Django. <laughs> I think all his money actually goes to health, like, doctors to get rid of all his stress. Another checkpoint? My gosh! What do you guys expect me to do now? Freedom! Thank goodness you're still in one piece. What about that other bounty hunter? Do you see her? Looks like she's trying to hijack my ship. Maybe you shouldn't blast her just yet. Now that the prison's in lockdown, you may need her help to get off that rock alive. Wow. She's about to steal your ship? If, if she was not a girl, then I believe Django would have already taken her down. Probably. <laughs> the fact that she's a lady and, like, I don't know. He's, like, kind of interested, like, okay, there's a lady bounty hunter who took my guy before I did. Nice flip. <laughs> How did that work for you? Finding the cover good? They're oh, right. no! Oh no! Two lives left. No, Luke, no, we have to... This is bad. Well, luckily we have a big gun that I found, but we only have 16 shots. Your jetpack looks awesome. It has its moments. Is this a time thing? Oh, well, I mean, I might be able to reach the guy way over there. Let's try. I think there's a dude trying to stand behind that rock there. Whoops! What? How did we fail? Okay, let's try this again. So, there's all these bad guys down there, and we have missiles, so... We never used any of these missiles in the level. So let's use them now! These guys are all grouped together nicely, so... I say missile attack. They're ready for you. And oh, oh, I can aim the missile by just tilting the joystick up and down. Really? Ooh, this could be fun. All right, there's a dude way back there. Oh, so. I didn't even see him over there. Nice and easy. Ooh. Yeah, there were several guys back there. So this is how Whoa. we died last time. There's so many dudes. But they're all Wait. conveniently placed for missiles. And boom! Oh, Oops. I didn't hit anybody that time. Okay, well, there's a whole group right there. So let's just bring it in nice and easy. Oh. This Oops. takes a while to adjust this. There we go. That was three. And there's a whole little group right there. And... Mm -hmm. Ah, better than nothing. It feels like the controls are kind of hard to move, like, really finely. I mean, it, this is really sensitive to move this joystick around. All right, we're out. Yep. But I'd say we just wiped out about probably 10 guys, so let's go say hi to the rest of them. Let's go say hello. So my guess is the girl died, and uh, that's why we failed the mission. So we're just oh. going to do our best to engage most of these guys using the gun that we saved up. I kind of like this gun. Yeah! Buh bye So, are we gonna meet the real mom of Boba Fett at this point? I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she could end up dying in this game. I, I don't think she dies here, though. Ow. There we go! Sweet! Wait, did we win or lose? Oh. I'm taking Fust with me. Over my dead body. If you insist. 
<laughs> Look, we're professionals. Maybe we can work something out. It'd be a ways to kill each other over this scum. Can't argue with that. Just give me a ride off this rock. We'll split the reward. Maybe you can use the money to buy a nicer ship. Ooh. Oh, wow. My headphones are kind of weird. I can't really hear the voices for some reason. It's okay. I hope you have a ship. I stowed aboard a supply ship. Until you showed up, that was my plan for getting out. Some bounty hunters you two are. We're doomed! Well, what now? Oh, oh no, 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 please stop. They're this slave one. Insane. That yep. ship is mine. Where's the hangar? In the security tower. Uh, up at the top. M -m -m the whole prison's in lockdown. You'll never get up the asteroid with that shield active. Then I'll have to shut it down. How will you take out the shield? I met an old timer who might know the answer. You keep him here. I'll see what I can salvage from my ship. Ooh, the plot thickens. The plot thickens like butter. Hmm. I think butter thickens as you churn it. I don't know. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey, you made it out. I knew you would. I need to shut down the prison shield to get off this rock. Got any ideas? Well, let's see. You're gonna need to somehow overheat or destroy the cooling coils on the tower's three relay arms. That'll cause a core meltdown. Uh, that'll shut it down, I think. What about you? <laughs> oh, don't worry about me, stranger. This is the best day I've had in decades. I owe it all to you. Be a fine day to cash it all in. <laughs> See you on the other side, eh, stranger? Okay, so the old man gave us some advice. He says we need to basically wipe out their power generators to disrupt the shield so we can get Ooh. off this planet. What the heck are those things? Ow! Hey! Hey! We, we, come on! Guys! 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 Let's, let's not, let's not get too crazy here, okay? I'm just trying to break into your base. Alright guys, let's disrupt the power generators! Let's do this, Django! <laughs> Doing my best here. Looks like these guys want a tango, Django. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, that's kind of clever. Well, it takes two to take. Ah! Take that, Robo. Oh, jeez. There we Robo go. Robo dweebs. Oh, uh, that's one life. <sighs> Man, I wish in video. I wish in real life people had five lives, just like in games. I don't know. I mean, five lives is really not enough for this game at all. Yeah. It's really not. Because, I mean, yeah, they, they drop a bunch of health and stuff like that, but the health doesn't really replenish you fully. Also, we're at a part of the game now where their blaster fire hurts a lot more than it should. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's try throwing some grenades. We haven't really used any secondary weapons. All right. Wow, we have a lot of weapons. I know. Catch! Oh. I can imagine Django. Take me. It's like he walks into a bar. People are like, what do you do for a job? It's like. I, I kill people for a living. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. All right. Let's oh try gosh. this, guys. See that one blue gun? That will take, like, so much of your health compared to, like, the regular uh, blaster. Yeah. So those guys are the most annoying to kill. All right. Let's try this again. This Please don't blow myself up. Oh, I think we got somebody! That was the scream of pain. It was the scream of something. Either he got blown up or his kid Catch! Just rolled over and he tried to pet Yes! His, he tried to pet his cat and his cat scratched his arm like and then he went, Ah See, just to show you, look at our health. That's from one shot of that blue laser. Wow. So it takes quite a bit. Wow. Okay, so That's pretty crazy. What do we have over here? Uh I like Wait, this gun. you want a bigger gun? Oh my oh, gosh. Well, yeah, it's a really <laughs> powerful weapon. Why not? Why isn't the door open? Oh, okay, well, that works. Now it should open. No? Bigger is better. What? And everything is bigger in Texas. Eh, not wrong. Well, it's where... actually true. I went to a supermarket one time in Texas. The jars of peanut butter were this big. They were huge! Why would you need a jar of peanut butter that big? I don't know. Maybe because people live really far away from... Like, my grand... 
Paul like lived in Texas for a long time and to get to his house he lived on all this land so you'd have to like go on this huge road just to mm. get to his house and he hardly ever went into town uh oh maybe everyone in Texas are ranchers you got me I don't I don't see how you have me but okay look scramble hey guys or maybe people in Texas just like everything bigger well Take cover. why are they not coming after me this is weird come on just just a little bit more but it's yeah. your worst nightmare I mean, I've never seen jars of peanut butter that big in my whole life. I don't know. I know. It was weird. We'll Come have to on. Go. We'll have to go sometime, Luke. <laughs> but don't don't think we're gonna get any travel size jars of peanut butter because I don't think they have them. I I don't even think I need to eat that much peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll ask one of my relatives. Like I'll be like they'll be like, "What does Luke want for Christmas?" And I'll say, "Luke wants a giant jar of peanut butter." No, I don't. <laughs> Good. Come on, Luke. You know you do. I had a great Christmas this year. I'm looking forward to next year. It was, I, it was it was a blast. Mm, I'm glad too. I'm glad we got to do it. I, I feel like myself again a little bit because I I really love Christmas. So I miss You're such it. Such a softie. Okay, so I liked it too. What's going on now? I hope everybody else had a good Christmas, and we're all gonna have a great New Year. Well, it's already it's already New Year. I know, but we're still in the New Year. That's true. Okay, so... Ah, you punk. If you guys have already given up on your New Year's resolutions, you guys can start again. It doesn't count for, like, 30 days. You get a 30-day, like, trial. I don't know what I'm doing for my New Year's resolutions yet. I'm decided. I don't really like to say them out loud because then I'll end up, like, messing up on them. So I just try my best. Let's try this. No bounty, but I think we can hit him. I don't really have New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah. I just try new things all the time. So I'm always trying to do better all the time. So, like, like I'm always trying to do more baking. I'm going to be doing more reading and stuff like that. Like, I just try to do new things all the time. So it doesn't, like, necessarily happen because of the new year. Mm-hmm. Did I get him? Oh, my gosh. I used to get so... I used to have New Year's resolutions when I was... A youngling, like a teenager, and I, jet back there. I would, if I broke my new, I would be like, I'm gonna do this every single day from now on for the whole year, and then like after two days, I would, I would mess it up, okay. and then I would get so depressed. So if you guys are wondering why I'm taking these guys out, is because this is a rocket area, and if you get shot while you're flying, you fall. So how I play is I like to take out all the guys that I can see, which I know takes a little bit longer. Um, our series, just so you guys know, Star Wars Bounty Hunter is probably going to be a very long game um, compared to other YouTubers you've seen play this because I'm not as confident as going in guns a-blazing. Um, I try to dodge as much stuff as I can, but I I like to... This is how I played it back in the day. Very practical, uh, taking guys out from far away. Hey, you don't want to be hit with a fatal bullet. Well, I, I'm telling you, if you get hit while you're flying... You fall. Oh. It, it doesn't matter if it's just like... Alright, he's done. Whoa. Bye! I feel like his scream there didn't really match his body language. You know what? It's fine! It was like... Ah! And then he was just like... He fell off a ledge. Oh. Okay. That's that's usually... I guess when, that would make sense. Yeah. That would warrant that kind of scream. <sighs> right, but if I was... Um, if I was flying when all those dudes were around... You see how you just, like, keep running when you get hit? Mm -hmm. That's not the same case when you're flying. Oh. Oh, when you get hit when you're flying, you kind of go down. Yeah. So, most people who've done a series of this game, it's about 10 to 18 episodes. Us doing this game, we're probably going to have 30 episodes because just how long it's going to take me to get through certain levels. Because we love you guys and we want to give you guys more content. <gasps> And those other people that did it in 18 episodes, they don't love you as much. That's why. Unless people want me to go through and play the game, like, not blind anymore. Oh my That'd gosh. Be much faster. I have to pick up my bike that we got. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to pick it up. I'll just drive and get it myself. I mean, it's already paid for, you just have to pick it up. So Luke had this bike on layaway for me for about a year and a half. 
Yes. We finally made the last like forty dollar payment on it, and like months ago, and like I've been wanting to get it, and I didn't get it. I'll just pick it up. Oh. Hopefully, they'll be somewhat nice to me. Why would they be mean to you? It's already been paid for. You just said <laughs> well, pick it up when you can. Oh, I thought they were mad. Well, I mean, that was back in December. They told me that, so you probably want to pick it up this month, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it now because I. Hmm. <sighs> Gives you something to do. Is that a dude down there? What is that? No. That's a... Yeah, that is a guy! Hey, guy! I'm just gonna crouch down and... Got him. See, I mean, it, it's not the flashiest way to play this game, but I am not very good at it, and you only get five lives. There's no way to restart the level at specific checkpoints that you uncover. You only get checkpoints as you're going through the game, and you have to have lives in order to make use of them. Otherwise, you have to restart the entire level over. And each level is about 45 to an hour long. So... Uh-oh. Oof. Get I think you're that. good at the game. No. But if I was being really mean, I'd say, Star Wars, the noob through. I, I've, seen, <laughs> no, I've seen people play <laughs> this, like they're more acrobatic with... Boba Fett. I mean, Wait, they're they all... have him do like uh, oh, they have him. Wheels. They have him run around, do flips, and do flips into his jetpack and all kinds of stuff. He can I've... do a flip. Yeah, he can do flips. I, I've done them. I I tend to roll more now that oh. I remembered how to roll instead of doing it the other way. Why would he need to do a flip? All right. So if you guys are wondering what's going on, I'm looking for a door that has uh, green lights on both the door itself and above it. Who's he trying to impress? Nobody's just trying to avoid blaster fire, but the best way I found to avoid blaster fire is to roll. Ah. So that's why I roll more than most people. I think this is the exit. It's also a great way no. to fix it if you get like put on... See how the door has a red thing on it? That means you can't go through. So we're looking for a doorway that's similar to this, but it has uh, green and just all green. So, um, let's try... Oof. I see. Oh, no. I'm doing the Shen Shenmue thing. I guess so. I can't wait to do more Shenmue 1 stream! Uh, we tend to stream that on Fridays, if you guys want to check that out. But, um, one thing I didn't, like, some people that were watching, like, it was an awesome stream. Oh my gosh, the first stream we did. I'm so thankful for, like, Damn everybody's it. super chats and stuff. You guys really helped like i don't know why but mm. our channel seems to actually being seen in this search engine at this point i think it had to do with that stream probably and like but um what i what i noticed that some people in the chat from the shenmue one stream dang didn't understand it like there were some people that even said like okay this seems very slow play paced or like the game seems very dreary and not Exciting. It's a slice of life game with kung fu elements. That's the easiest way to but explain like, it. You got like, have you guys never grew up in a small town, or like, I don't know, <laughs> like that's kind of how towns are though, that aren't big cities. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that is. He does go to very. I mean, he doesn't go to Tokyo, mind you, but he does go to yeah, some. He's not going to really be in the. Places. He's not going to be in the town forever. And also, that town is a lot cooler than uh, Bai Lu Village. There we go. All right. See how it has green. On the door and above it, that means we can go through it. It has a better arcade than Bailu. Well, it has Sega games on it. Sorry, no offense. I have to say that Rio's town, as small as it is, is probably more exciting than my small town growing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just how small towns are. I know that we have lots of- some fans that live in like really big cities, like even New York City and stuff. You guys have no idea how lucky you are. There's actually things to do past, like, 4 o'clock. Yeah, that's true. Besides right. it's cow tipping. So, just to get a little walkthrough on here for you guys, the enemy that you need to watch out for the most at this part of the game now is going to be the rocket launcher guys. Okay, so he's wanted... Um... Man, so many people are wanted, if you think about it. Well, yeah. Like... <laughs> the rocket launcher guys can kill you in two hits. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thin the herd a little bit and just take care of your basic general variety blaster, guys. Sorry. Try not to do any hand motions because it's gonna distract me. Sorry, I thought I had like a weird thing on my lip. I'm mm. good. 
Okay, so we've got these dudes here. All right, see the guy in the background? He's yeah. got a rocket. Ah, okay. So we're going to have to find a way to kill him. I feel like Django would live life kind of jaded knowing how many people are actually in trouble with the law. I wouldn't want to know. I would like to live in my happy world. I really want to get rid of that rocket launcher guy. Hmm, I guess we're just going to have to do our best and just blaster them. Yeah, I mean, that one guy's wanted dead or alive, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I, I don't care. I'm probably going to kill him. It doesn't matter. He's in the way. I, I need that rocket guy, because the rocket people are going to... Two hits. We can't, you know... No. So... Dang it! Totally missed! Oops. I, I did get the dude who was wanted, though, but that's not what I wanted. You got him... And he was wanted, but it's not what you wanted. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh. And the reason I got better at aiming, guys, is we're playing a James Bond Agent Under Fire, although we're going to have to do some stuff a little bit different with that game because yeah. it's not recording the cutscenes when we play it. And that has yeah. to do with a resolu resolution issue. So I was talking to um, my friends uh, Duo and Danny... And uh, we've come up with a solution, and it's it's being sent, but now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do for filler content, because uh, we're not ready to air James Bond Agent Under Fire just yet. It's not ready. I don't understand why the video capture device would mess up every time there was a, quote, cutscene in the game. Because the Elgato is supposed to be for HD game systems, so... PS3, Wii U, Switch. So what uh, can we PS4. use? So we can't even use Elgato for a non-HD system. No, you can. I'm. I'll, I'll explain to you how this uh, thing works oh. when you see it. It has to do with it doesn't change the resolution that's being outputted to your uh, from your game system to your TV. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bounty hunter under fire right now. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Whoa, those little guys. What are they doing? Well, we'll scan them in a second. I'm just... There's the generator thing. Uh, okay, let's see what Which these Which is a generate love? No. Okay, these these dudes are clean. You're does clean! It, does it generate happiness? Mm, I don't remember how to take these things out, but you're supposed to break them. Does it generate great gaming content on YouTube? Well, K-Wings Let's Plays does. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> mm. Let's... Go. I wish they actually had more PS2 games, but they they don't because this is upscaled like this is the best this game will ever look Wow, because it's been upscaled and Cat hair somewhere Yeah, we have a lot of cat hairs around here. Okay, so do I shoot it up there? No, yep, so I mean hmm. completely random but our our cat is going to have to take medicine. No. She's like, sure. we just got her back from the vet, and apparently, yeah, uh, she needs to be on medicine. She's like, really, like, super, super old, basically. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. But if she's on medicine, she'll live a couple more years, and that makes me happy to know. Yeah. Because we didn't know what kind of uh, prognosis we were going to get after uh, taking her to the vet. Because her kidney disease was getting worse. Mm, let's go this way. But the vet said that she's pretty healthy otherwise. Mm-hmm. We've been doing a very good job taking care of and her. And apparently when she lies in the sun all the time, it makes her really happy. And feel a lot better. And we found out that when she's meowing, she's not mad at us. Apparently she just wants to be picked up and held. So it's like, oh. Yeah, because she's in pain. Yeah, so I'm like, well, I'll just hold her more. I thought she was mad at me all the time, but apparently she's just, like, saying... Mm, she's saying, like... I don't know, hold me or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Kitty! The generators. I don't remember, this is driving me crazy. I don't know. Well, I mean, you have to shut down the generators in order to escape. Because there's a giant force field yeah. around this asteroid planet. Oh, and by the way, like, whenever I say, like, guys and stuff, like, I used to say guys and gals. Apparently when I say guys and gals now, like, YouTube considers that more for, like, I don't understand why, because gals aren't K-I-D-S. 
No, you should keep doing your intro the way it is, like the gamers thing, because that's who yeah. You're, that's who your target audience. I'm saying audience sometimes is. I, I want to say guys and gals, but I'm not. Oh, okay, not. I'm not that supposed was, to uh, anymore. That was wrong. But I do care about you ladies watching. But it's like it's almost like I'm not acknowledging them anymore. You're acknowledging all people that watch your videos, some guys and gals, just because we're all gamers here. So. Yeah, exactly. That's who way I identify. Well, when I say guys, though, I'm meaning like everyone. I know. It's like a Midwest thing. Like, I don't know what people know, but in the Midwest, when people say guys, they mean guys and gals. Mm hmm. It's weird, but. Mm. Like, guys kind of means like people. But some people don't. I don't understand, but some people don't understand that. Last. Okay, okay. There must be... Hmm... There's gotta be something down here that I'm missing. Because... Maybe there's a huge jar of peanut butter. Down. There it is. That's it. Oh, okay. Always watch out for the grates. Great tip, Luke. Well, yeah, I mean... That's I... a great idea. Again, I mean, it's up to people. I can go through and I can beat the game and play again, or we can keep going blind, but with blind you have to understand that I'm not going to remember everything about this game because it's from 2002. So I'm not going to catch everything my first time through. If this was a live stream, I'd really be driving people crazy, but um, having Amber here always makes things a little bit Aww. better for me because I can try to put my best effort in. So I went to the store today and got Ingredients to practice making pot choux for my baking class. No idea what that is. And also pastry. Good. A pot choux is French for... E well, I don't really know what it's French for, but it means e it's basically eclair paste. Mmm. So you can make eclairs with it. Interesting. It's basically like <laughs> butter and flour that you mix on the stove in this big bowl of butter and flour. Mm-hmm. And then you put it into the blender and you mix one egg at a time into the mixture until it's very, very shiny. And then you then you put it into a piping bag and you pipe little, like, lines on a baking sheet. And then you bake them and they turn into eclairs. Mm. And that's how eclairs are made. You guys heard it from K-Wife, the Master Baker. That'll be my channel name. Master Baker? Master Baker. I like Little Chef. That's cute. Okay, now uh, we need to find that doorway we discovered last time. Okay, that's. I not also it. got ingredients to make brownies from scratch. That's gonna be interesting. I don't think I've ever had homemade brownies. We'll get used to it, Luke, because that's what my whole entire job is. Of course, I don't think my school is gonna be very happy that even if I get a baking job, I probably won't have it for very long because I'll have to quit eventually and then tell them, well, I kind of need to do my job at home. Mm. And then they're going to be like, I thought this was going to be like your career forever. It's like, well, I can make it my career, but I just don't want to work for you guys in your bakery because... Yeah, Amber could become <laughs> like a, a baker on YouTube. <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Well, so, I mean... Yeah. Just to interrupt real quick, um, at this part of the game, people, to save on your health, since these guys all come running at you, you can hide behind a pillar and light them up with your flamethrower. It saves a lot of time, and also, you're going to need to conserve your health, because most of these rooms that we're going to be going into, uh, if you just run into them, please be aware of the rocket guards, because there are a lot of them, and okay. they will kill you. Not only that, their missiles that they're firing, they can move them just like Jongo can. So that means how we can aim where a rocket goes, they can aim it too. So it's almost like a heat seeker in that sense. It can follow you as long as they're you're in their line of sight. Mm. And it makes it very difficult to maneuver. See? One oh, hit. Oh, what? That's what I was telling you. You get hit while you're flying. That's it. That's your yell? Well, I mean, I'm sorry. I was falling to my death. I couldn't think of something. <laughs> no, it was pretty manly, actually. I mean, it wasn't like a, a girly scream. Are, are you saying there's something wrong with my yell? Cause... Oh, I was just surprised because, I mean, I've heard your scream. Then I heard Django scream, and I was like, huh, there's a really big difference there. <laughs> I mean, yours is more like, oh! 
And I, I, Jane goes, is like, oh. That's because my yell is comedic. <laughs> you've heard, you've heard my yell when I've like, <laughs> when I've hurt my foot or something. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's, it's not, cute. It, it's not a yell that you want to put on, on YouTube or like any type of video because it's not blood curdling, but it, it doesn't sound. <laughs> Like, I hear you yell every day when you try to pet uh, uh, Zelda. Yeah, it's 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 not something I want to repeat here. It's weird because of our cat's name Shadow. It's like every vet thinks that she's a guy cat because of her name. But oh my gosh! 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 Act- mm. Oh my gosh! But she's actually a girl. But it's like they keep getting her confused. She's grumpy like a boy cat. She does act like a boy cat in so many ways. Mm-hmm. But she is a girl. Yes, she is. Alright, so we got mean old rocket guy there. I'm gonna take care of Rocket Man. Out- Actually, I've never had a boy cat. Well, my parents had one for a short time until it ran away. You knew Sammy for a couple of years. Yeah. You knew Sammy from 2003 <laughs> until 2006. Yeah. I miss Sammy a lot. I wish we could have had Sammy, like... I know. We we were going to take him when we got married, but he was just too sickly. And the our first apartment didn't allow pets. Yeah. Or something like that. Not that it would have mattered, because that guy, his apartment was so bad anyway. We almost died. Oh my gosh. Because of that gas leak. Yeah, I know. I really hope that guy got sued because he wasn't a very good um, landlord. We we've had some nicer landlords over the years. Oh yeah, he. I mean, that guy was a uh, complete. I can't say the word. He was a tool. What tool is? He was a not nice person. Tool's fine. Okay. <laughs> so... Basically, I already know what kind of guy. Got Basically, him. to describe our first landlord, he's the kind of guy who made a, a bunch of money in the East Coast. And I don't know if you guys know, but everything in the East Coast is like twice as expensive as the Midwest. Oh, yeah. So he made a bunch of money in the East Coast, goes back, buys a bunch of property in the Midwest. And I believe his house was in the Midwest also. Yes. And then he buys a bunch of property in the Midwest that's extremely cheap. Basically, buys a bunch of rundown apartments and and basically jacks up the price for people that have no money and forces people into leases because there's no other apartments available in that area Dang. and makes money off of poor people. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the kind of landlord that we had for our first place. Yeah. And he only owned a few places in the East Coast and that we... Oh, yeah. Bingo! And we were in one of them, and he showed it to our apartment to us in the dark, and apparently there were holes in the wall that we didn't even know about. Yeah, so we had posters. Like, we we did, we tried to make it as homey as possible, and I think we decorated it pretty well, but he had us put the air conditioner, he refused to let us put it in the front of the house, which would have been safe, and we probably would have been living there for a couple years, but he had us put it in the back, right next to the oven, it put out the pilot light, and Amber and I were breathing in mm-hmm. natural gas for months. It's all and awful. Miraculously, we survived, and you know, I still don't know how we lived because that was a very tiny apartment, and the window wasn't really open because we had an air conditioner. I guess it's because we both worked so many jobs, we weren't home that much. We were never home. So that's probably why. Well, except for to sleep, but that could explain why we were always having headaches. We were always having headaches, we were tired, I had breathing problems. But yeah. Also, our first landlord, there were four dogs in the apartment before us, and he did not wash the carpets, and Luke's allergic to dogs. Oh, yeah. So Luke had so many allergies, and then when we finally called him on it, then he was like, oh, I see, you know, have everything off the floor tomorrow, and I have somebody coming in. It's like, but well, we already had all our, our stuff. Like, we couldn't get everything off just, the floor. Just for future reference, people, it's not good to clean carpets, like, when tenants are actually living there. You want to take care of that stuff before people move of in. Course. Because it's not, even even the carpet stuff is toxic. It's supposed to be done a week before. Okay, that was kind of dope. And then I have a few days to air out. Actually, it's supposed to be done, like, uh, several weeks before someone moves in. Yeah, Rocket man! But the guy doesn't, like... 
And if you're wondering how I'm able to get away with this, people, it's because we're so far away that the game doesn't recognize that we're here. So this older game, even though it's very, very difficult, like, you can kind of cheese the game this way if you're patient. Mm. And then you just mow them down. The guy we rented one from was like Lex Luthor. He just didn't care about anything. No, he didn't. He didn't care. Okay, so there's a rocket man way in the back. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right there. But as Amber is clearly seen now, rocket men kill you in yeah. relative ease. And you can also die from the shrapnel, too. Yay! All right, he's done. So then we got... <laughs> what, you found that funny? I don't know. It's just like the oh things my gosh. that I'm learning about. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we got him. Well, how did we miss? I don't understand these guys like jogging, but then looking right at well, you. I mean, it's a running animation. and They're also... They've got tons of like little armor on them. <laughs> Okay, so those... How is he still alive? You punker! He's like got some him. kind of punker with green makeup. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got green on... Oh, no! There's a whole nother row? Shoot! Oh, I was doing the Ninja Turtles thing. Oh, I know. I know what you were doing. Okay. I know what you were doing, sweetie. Alright, let's see who these fools are. Let's scan. And zoom in. Are you sure nobody, they're nobody, nobody, no Ah! Nobody, nobody, nobody. So the rocket guy is right. Maybe one of those guys there. is going to night school for aerospace engineering. I don't care. Wow. You're you're just cutting his, his career short before it's even begun. I'm gonna cut his life short too if I wow. can hit him. Wow. Another one of the guys just got a new puppy. Not anymore. Wow. I'm gonna take that puppy. See how much your health depletes, though? Green lasers hurt you more than red lasers, like, in terms of damage. So, you got to make the green laser guys your priority, because they will kill you. Um, every color does more damage, so blue is the highest damage that you'll get from, like, a blaster. Mm -hmm. Rocket is the most damage that, uh, and Jango can't really take... I want to say he can take two hits, but I don't think you can. I think I two hits equals death. I feel like Django is the kind, or Django, whatever, is the kind of guy that if he did, like, basically off somebody that got a new puppy, I think he would call the guy's next of kin relative and let him know, hey, you might want to, you know, take care of the puppy. Because... I think he would take the puppy in. Really? Yeah. Aww. And they would give it to, like, somebody. Oh, there we go. That's Wanted so dead. Only dead. Whoa. All well, right. Well, well. Sorry, dude. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Maybe he should have paid his parking ticket. Yeah, that's that's for speaking speaking of that. Um Yeah, I know. We have something. Every time when I'm when I'm visiting people, it's like I run run through that um what is that thing where it's like e pay instead of the actual ticket pay? On accident, and then they send me this huge bill, like that was supposed to be two ninety nine, and ends up being like fifty nine instead. And you need the bill in order to go online and pay it because you need to know the the yeah. number. If you don't you guys, know the number, you can't pay for it. Make sure to always pay your tolls because you could be in real trouble. I'll keep jacking up the price every time. Yep. So make sure you find that mail, Amber. I will. Then I can take care of that online. <sighs> All right. Excuse me, guys. Okay, so we took down another generator. Oh, I find it. I didn't know you could do it online. I'm so glad. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. I don't want to talk to anybody about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The, 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 the people, the, the people that are the ticket people are so mean. What in the world? Oh, that's just great. Only one life left. This is bad. This is very bad. Hey, Shadow. Well, now I never drive on the main road of our town anymore because it's almost every time I've driven on that road. Whoa, 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 whoa Zelda! What in the world? Easy there. Whoa, what are you doing? Why are you attacking Shadow? What I'm gonna do, I guess. Is there a guy there? Yeah. There's a dude there. Oh, it's actually not the end of the month anymore. I feel like the best thing to do. I'm gonna tell my KIDS someday. 
see a week before the end of the month make sure that you have enough groceries stockpiled in your house that you don't need to go out of the house at all generally and then avoid all the main roads that way you will never get trapped in one of those like things where a uh, police officer just pulls you over just because they need to fill their quota mm-hmm. and then has some ridiculous excuse why they're giving you a ticket like I should have saved that other gun. I couldn't believe I've gotten tickets for not having my car inspected. And then I was like, well, it was inspected. And they're like, well, I don't see a record of it. But that one time I, I got a ticket for not having a license when I did have a license. And they're like, well, it's on record that your license was revoked. And then when I went to the place, they were like, oh, no, your license was never revoked. This was inaccurate. Mm. But you'll have to get a lawyer and fight this. And it might take weeks. It's like, but I don't have time. And during that time, I couldn't even drive. So, so. It's like they are the law. It's like they can just they can give you a ticket for anything. They could give me a ticket for dyeing my hair purple. They, they can give, give you a ticket, a ticket for... for looking at them funny. I know. Hey, Shadow. Well, that's small. I mean, that's basically small town police officers basically are like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just scratching my nose. It's okay. Oh, will you be quiet? I'll get out of here fine after you guys are burning alive. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, she's stuck on my head. Bones! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. No, if you guys want to know how I really scream, w- watch the Batman Dark Tomorrow stream. <laughs> it, it's not a very funny sounding scream. <laughs> Provided by Simon. It's 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 a very angry scream. And I had some people like watching that Dark Tomorrow stream. They were like, "Does K Wing have anger management issues?" It's like, no, I just have Dark Tomorrow issues. But it's I like, do. yeah, that's that's how, yeah, Amber's a little Spitfire. That's how I get. Um, that's how I sound when I'm very angry, though. Yeah, uh, Luke is generally calm. That's I, why I, the cat's I like tem- being on his I lap. tend to be pretty passive aggressive as best I can. I don't. Wait, I, no, passive aggressive isn't a good thing. Oh. You mean passive? Yeah, I'm passive. <laughs> Not passive aggressive. Passive aggressive means that you seem fine, but then you'll blow up randomly. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I don't. No, you're not passive aggressive. It takes a lot to make me mad. He's calm and passive. I try I try to let as many things go as possible because I have a lot of stuff in my family that's not good with rage, like that is tied to heart disease or something like that. So I've always tried to be a little bit more calm. Case in point, when you can feel like your arms getting shaky Dang when you're it. getting angry or you can feel like your arms are getting really shaky and hot when you're angry that means that you have anger problems yeah um it's a rocket that's what sometimes happens to me when i get upset okay so we got that guy way up it, there if you if your arms get hot and shaky when you're getting upset that's not it's not a good thing yep 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 all right so we got no nope, nothing there nothing there nothing there scanning 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 there's a dude way over in the corner he's not a rocket guy though he's just standing there pointing it doesn't even look like a gun it looks like he's giving you the thumbs up sign <laughs> from way over there yeah because remember people this was 2002 and this is still we like playing uh games that have voice acting and stuff in them way back because it's it's really interesting. Yes, you like putting your scent on there. Okay. Well, She's kind of touching the microphone, so... It's fine. Hmm. Oh, now after Shadow got back from the bed and we have to feel sorry for her, basically she can get away with anything. Hmm. She can step on our face. Great. She can crawl on go all over us when we're tra- ah! You're moving the microphone everywhere, Shadow! Not, not too much, Shadow. She's like, I'm soft. Feel bad for me and love me. Zelda's getting softer than you. All right, so Wait, where... let's have a soft contest. That should be a video where we put them each in a different box and we we put our hand in blindfolded to see if they I would soft. be able to I could tell between the two of them. <laughs> really because we might have to do a video like that now but you know what I'm, I'm thinking if you accidentally put your hand on their face on accident or a weird place on them that they didn't want you to touch when you were blindfolded they would end up scratching you Shadow would never scratch Zelda would. Yeah. I would know right away. <laughs> yeah, the one. <laughs> I know which one. I know which way to tell which cat you're touching and be the one that you you come out of the box and your hand is bloody. Dang it! Did you see how much? Oh. That sorry. was just from the shrapnel. Man. 
Are you kidding me? Trango Fett thinks he knows pain, but he doesn't own a cat. And as, as far as I know in this game, there's no sniper rifle for you to zoom in and attack people. You can only shoot people from using a reticle that's really far away. Oh my gosh. Get him! Come on, Django! No! Oh my gosh, Rocket! We're alive! Dude. Rocket Man! Run! Run! Django, get out of there! Why is the elevator not going up faster? It's going up as fast as it can! Oh. Oh my gosh, Luke. Now we have to make a video where I put them in boxes. It's so weird, Amber. I'll have to get their claws trimmed a little bit before. Okay, he's just a regular guy. All right, he regular is. guy. One wild and crazy guy. No, he's dead. He no. was one wild and crazy guy. Yep, 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 yep. See the rocket guy anywhere? Where are you Shadow, at? Shadow, what would you do with a rocket launcher? Probably shoot people with Meow. it. Meow! <laughs> yeah, see. Wait, what? I didn't really get to hear what her response meant, but she mm, said meow. Meow. Hey! You don't move! Oh, shoot! No! No! <laughs> Great, we've got one life left. <sighs> Gosh. I wouldn't say that's great. Oh, sarcastic. Okay. Uh. <laughs> great! We have one life left! Awesome! I'm not really helping, am I? Oh, dang it, it went the wrong way. Django Fit never uh. goes the wrong way. Except when he, he does. He arrives precisely when he means to. Okay, so we still have... There's a rocket guy in here. There is... Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! Okay. You know what challenge I wish I could see you do, but you would never do it because you already saw that one guy do it? Huh? That challenge... Like a challenge live-action video. I wish I could see you, like, have people, like, send you weird food from all over the world and eat it. And you eat it. But... Are you talking like Dave? Yeah. Dave's but... wife won't let him do that anymore because he got very sick. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. It would be very bad. You think? Yeah. Also, I don't like eating food I that know. I get from the mail. It's not... It, it's a, it's not a never... safe practice. It's probably not because the thing is... No, I mean, not to scare anyone, but... No, you right. need to scare people because... I, I do eat food online, though. Yeah, like, I, I order food from Amazon, like lentils and stuff like that for myself. But, like, um... That's where the lentils have been coming from. No, uh, no, the ones I made for you, I never... The ones I make for myself, I, I ordered online. I can show you which bags are from online, which ones aren't. I have a rough idea. All right, so, so, no, I don't make you anything from online. But, um, Good girl. But yeah, like, uh, just so you guys know, like, you probably shouldn't order food from online because you just don't know. Like, they can say it's it's from Nabisco, but, I mean, you don't really know. I mean, anyone could have put anything in there. Just Okay, that's where we need to go. Whereas, if you get it from the grocery store, I mean, it's pretty much verified. It has to be from Nabisco or whatever company you're getting. Got him. That's still not the rocket guy, though. No idea where the heck the rocket guy is. Guess we just can't worry about it. I'm getting cat fur all over my cells. Because just... Shadow, she, like, um... Oh, you little punker. I'm gonna call her Shadow. She sheds. Yeah, she sheds. It has to do with her <laughs> thyroid and her, um, other stuff. Thanks for that, Shadow. I can't even see my shirt. Shadow, All I see I'm is not... a layer, a thick layer of fur. This is my costume for Halloween. Mm -hmm. It's I'm a cat because I have her fur all over me. Blood curdling scream. <laughs> yeah, I could use. I doesn't matter. So we have we found a checkpoint. We have one life left. This is this is this is what I don't like because. How long have we been playing this episode now? Like, close to 50 minutes? Two years. No. That means if I die, we're gonna have to do this all over again to get to the next point of recording. Oh, I don't like that. Please, no. I wish there was a way you could pick up lives while you're playing. Like, after you kill, like, a certain number of guys, they give you 
some lives, but that's not how this game works. Yeah, what a concept. Also, the cheats for this game and the cheat menu, all it is is unlocking levels. They don't have a thing where it'd be like, okay, unlimited ammo for secondary weapons, or they don't have any good cheats. Restoring well, health, uh, right getting more lives. Big head mode? No big head mode either. Wow. Big head mode wasn't a thing until later. Oh, okay. Like, late 2000s. So think like 2006 through 2009 is when big head mode started to become like more common in games. Like as a, a bonus thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but I do... I usually, I usually agree with you on most of that, but like when did the N64 come out? N64 was 1996. Because my brother, when he had Turok, there was a big head mode in that. Well, Okay, there was Maybe some big Maybe, like, hopes. one or two games of Big Head Mode. I'm saying it was... Generally not. What, both of you guys want up here? What is going on? I mean... Why is your lap, like, a place where cats go to, like... I don't know. Is it cat heaven on your lap? I mean, maybe it's really warm or something. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, Zelda. My gosh, you're like the cat king. I the cat king. <laughs> you're like, if you were like a super, oh my gosh, you're like Aquaman's version of, you're Aquaman, but with cats. No! Zelda! That was our last tea! Great. <sighs> Alright. So they don't listen to you, but they like to be around. Yeah, I know. That was the last of the, uh, the brisk iced tea, and also... That was the last of um, the generator thing. So now we need to exit. Oh my gosh! The fact that he didn't shoot right away is kind of confusing to me. Okay, why did he check to see if he was bleeding after I punched him? That, <laughs> you know what? We would have. We were dead there. That was weird. Oh gosh. All right. You know, I think nice. this, this is a great stopping point, people. So that's gonna do it for today. Oh my god. More or less. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. We hope you guys enjoyed uh, more of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you with another episode tomorrow. And uh, be on the lookout for our upcoming series of James Bond Agent Under Fire, which we'll be releasing eventually, sometime this month. Yeet. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. We'll see you with more Star Wars tomorrow.